This video has been edited and actions contained within this video may take longer. To set up new Sage 200 users, your IT will need to create a new Windows profile. The Windows profile will also need adding to the relevant Sage 200 groups. The user is added to the Sage 200 admins group if the user will be accessing Sage 200 system administration and Sage 200 users if the user will be a Sage 200 user. If the new user will be a Sage 200 user and a Sage 200 administrator, add that user to both of the user groups. Once the user profile has been created, log in to Sage 200 System Administration. The Manage User List form will present with details of any new users which have been added to the Sage 200 groups. Select OK and Yes to create the new user. A message will present to advise that the users have been updated successfully. Select OK. Select Users from the menu on the left and the new user name will be listed. As you can see, the Member of column shows that no roles are currently assigned to this user. Double click the user to edit the properties and their permissions. Select the Member of tab to assign a role to the new user. Highlight the role you wish to assign and select the arrow to move that role to the selected roles list. Select the Company Access tab to provide this user with company access. You can highlight a company and select the arrow to move it to the selected list of companies. Or if access for all companies is required, select the tick option at the bottom of the screen. To save the changes, select Apply and OK. If the new user is to replace a current user, or to work in the same department as a current user, you can select a current user and go to their Member of tab to ascertain their roles and the Company Access tab for details of their company access. The new user should now be able to log into Sage 200 with the properties that have been assigned.